In this video, we're going to learn about the Jefferson method of apportionment. Apportionment distributes certain number of items among certain groups based on the group's population. One method to apportion different items is the Jefferson method. The steps of the Jefferson method are these. So we would first need to identify MD. Now in this section of notes, whenever you see MD, you need to remember that is representing the modified divisor. Now the modified divisor to find that is actually quite a time consuming process. So we will always be given MD. So in all of the problems from this section, you'll normally see something like let MD, the modified divisor be equal to, and they'll tell you the number. So this is something we need to identify in the problem, but it's not something that we're gonna find ourselves. The next thing that we would do is we would then find and calculate the MQ. Now this is something we'll have to actually evaluate. MQ is the modified quota, that's what it stands for. And to find the modified quota, what you would do is you would take the categories population that will be given to you, and you'll divide it by the MD or the modified divisor, what you would identify from within the problem. And now to follow the Jefferson method of apportionment, the way the Jefferson method differs is once you've got this MQ, it might be some kind of decimal value. So once you calculate all of the MQs, you need to round each of the categories modified divisor down to the nearest integer. So for instance, if the MQ for one category was 14.9, the next step would be the rounded MQ. And because we're doing the Jefferson method, even though 14.9 and all other circumstances would round up to 15, because we're doing the Jefferson method, we would turn that into a 14. So everything rounds down to whatever the integer that it was at previously. And then you give each category that integer number. Now we're going to see an example of the Jefferson method being used on the next page. In this example, we are asked to use the Jefferson method of apportionment to apportion the 1794 House of Representatives based on the populations at that time. Now we're told in all the total population was 3,615,920 people. And there were 105 seats to distribute among the different states. Now we're told that the modified divisor is 33,000. So this is something as we're working through the problem, I would write down on my paper to make sure I'm clear about this MD is 33,000. Now in the notes that we have, the table has already been written out for us, but if you were writing out your own table, what you would want to do is you would always want to list the category first. So in this case, our categories are the different states, but this could vary per problem. You would write down the number of items in that category. In this case, since our categories are states, it makes sense to talk about the number of items in the states to be the population. Then you would always make a column next for the modified quota. And then you always write next the rounded MQ. And you're going to round the modified quota based on what method we use. For Jefferson method, we always round down. So this would be how you'd construct your own table if it wasn't already given. And we are asked to round to three decimal places in calculations if necessary. So here I'm going to write the modified divisor of 33,000 off to the side so we can zoom into the table a bit. Okay. So for each of the states, we've been told their population. So remember to find MQ. The formula from before says that you would take the population or the amount of items in that category and then divide it by the modified divisor you were given. So to fill in this blank, what we're going to do is off to the side, we will have 630,560, and we're going to divide that by 33,000, and then we would get our calculators and type this in carefully. And when you calculate this, you would get 19.1078787. We were asked to round to three decimal places, so we would round this to 19.10 since the eight is bigger and it comes after the seven, we would round this up 
to 19.108. And that's what would go in our first blank. And then we're just going to keep repeating the process. We're always going to divide by 33,000, but what's going to change is the population of the different state that we're looking at. So for Massachusetts, we would take the state's population and always divide that by our given modified divisor, type this carefully into the calculator, and we would get this value rounded to three decimal places would be 14.404. So notice we're just going to keep repeating the exact same process. We're going to take the state's population, divide it by 33,000, round to three decimal places, write the MQ value here, and we're going to repeat that for all of the remaining states. So I recommend you take a moment to pause the video now, calculate each of these, write in the rounded value, and then when you unpause the video, You'll see a few more done for you, and then the rest will be filled in for you to check your work. This is a good time just to practice the skill of finding the modified quota by taking the population of the category and divided by the modified divisor. So if you would take a moment to pause the video now, unpause to check your work. Now we're going to find the modified quotient for Pennsylvania. So we take the category's population, divide that by 33,000, Type this into our calculator, which would round to 13.118. So then we would next find the modified quota for North Carolina. So repeat the process, we find its category value. Divide this by the modified divisor. And for North Carolina, we would find the modified quotient to be 10.713 when rounded. Now for the remaining ones, we're just going to keep repeating the process. For New York, we would take this number, divide it by 33,000, round it to three decimal places. So I'm going to show the remaining values on the screen. And we would get these for the remaining MQ values rounded to three decimal places. Now, the problem did ask us to solve this using the Jefferson method of apportionment. Now, once you get the MQ value for the Jefferson method, what you do is, regardless of how close the value is to the next highest integer, you will always round down. So looking at this table values, we would have that the Virginia rounded MQ value would be 19, because since it was 19.108, we just round down to 19. The MQ value for Massachusetts, since it was 14.404, would just be 14. The MQ value for New Jersey, since it was 5.442, is round down to 5, always for Jefferson method. For instance, even North Carolina, 10.713, even though it's closer to 11, Jefferson method doesn't care, you just round down to 10. So why don't you take a moment to pause and then fill in the remaining rounded MQ values for these states. Unpause to check your work. So if we follow the Jefferson method, then for this election year, the House of Representative seats would have been distributed like this. Virginia would have got 19 of the seats. Massachusetts would have got 14. Maryland would have gotten 8 of the seats. Delaware, with the smallest population, would have only got 1 of the seats. Rhode Island would have gotten two, so they're distributing the available seats based on the population of the different categories. And if you add all of the rounded MQ values together, in your calculator you would get all of these added together do equal the 105 seats that we had to distribute in the first place. That's just a way that we can check our work. In this next example, we're told that an HMO has 70 doctors that need to be apportioned or separated among the six different clinics. This company decides to distribute or apportion the doctors based on the average weekly patient load. So this is the category we're going to consider at each clinic. Given the table below, use the Jefferson method. So they're telling us which method we need to use to apportion these 70 doctors. 
and they're giving us the important information that the modified divisor we should use is 39. So we've got the modified divisor is 39. And we've already been provided with this table. Let's zoom out and see where they have filled in for us in the table the different categories. We've got clinic A, B, C, D, E, and F. And for each of these different clinics, they have recorded the average weekly patient load. So for instance, I think we can see that clinic D has the largest amount of patients at 692, closely followed by clinic B. So this is how they're getting patients in what population. And we're asked to find the modified quota or MQ value, and then round this MQ value based on the Jefferson method that we're using. So we know that our MD is 39, modified divisor. MQ, what we're looking for here, is always going to be the population of the category. So for A, we would take the population category 316 patients. We would divide that by the modified divisor. And let's say round to two decimal places for the MQ. And we would get this to be 8.10, which would round to 8.10. So 8.10 is the MQ value. We're going to calculate the same MQ value for the different categories. So for now B, we would take 598 and divide that by 39. And we would get 15.333 repeating, which would round to 15.33 to two decimal places. Now, why don't you take a moment to pause the video and find the remaining MQ values, completing the same procedure just for the new population values. Unpause to check your work. And then from the Jefferson method, we would round each of these down. Now the way this might look on a quiz that is completely um, online is that you're going to be given a problem where the majority of the problem is done. For instance, we've got our example says a college offers tutoring in math, English, chemistry, and biology. And we've got the number of students enrolled in each of these subjects listed below. So there's 360 students enrolled in math, 315 in English, 135 in chemistry, 80 in biology. The college can afford to only hire 21 tutors. Determine how many tutors should be assigned to each subject using the Jefferson method of apportionment. So we know the Jefferson method means you find the MQ value and then you round it down. And we're told to use the modified divisor of 40. Looking at this table, we see that they've already found the MQ values for everything except chemistry. And they've already found the rounded uh, MQs as well. So the only thing that remains in this problem is to determine what goes in this blank. So reading the table, that is the MQ value for chemistry. Now we see chemistry has 135 students. Remember to find any MQ, you would take the population of that category, 135, and we would divide that by the MD value given. And we would get 3.375. So that's our answer. And as expected, since it is the Jefferson method, this value is rounded down to have the rounded MQ of 3. So this would tell us that if we're just basing it off the Jefferson method and the student enrollment numbers, we should give 9 of the 21 tutors to be math, 7 of the 21 tutors to be English, 3 of the 21 tutors to go to chemistry, and 2 of the 21 tutors for biology. So just be aware that if we've got an online quiz, it could look something like this where you've got only one or two blanks and you've only got to find those specific values.